another video in this video i will tell you a scenario which is a practical scenario people are facing in different projects sometimes we create records right in dynamics 365 and when we create records we might have some validations on the javascript and in the javascript you can write synchronous codes or you can write asynchronous codes if you are using web api xrm web api for example this type of method let me open that method so that i can show you if you are writing this type of method xrm web api retrieve multiple records xrm web api delete record you know update record so if you are using such type of asynchronous methods to do some uh, to do some logic or to fetch some data and according to the result set a return result of the asynchronous operation if you want to do something let's say you want to restrict the save operation so if you uh, if you write down the uh, restrict save operation inside this it will not work it will not work so what you have to do you have to uh, do some different way you have to let, let me tell you the demo first okay i have a here enrolled courses right i can create enrolled courses for different students let me uh, define uh, let me create a record for a student let me choose a student Okay, let's say Bharat Kumar D365 and course Dynamics 365 and trainer I don't want to mention on the course start date then so today this student will start course Dynamics 365 right now if I will save there will be no issue right my requirement is if someone creates the same record of same student with same course with same start date I want to restrict the user saying that there is already a record already exist for this student for the same course for the same date and I want to restrict the save process so let me create a new one to show you how it looks like let me use the same uh, student and course same course I will choose and date I will choose the same date let's say dym for Varat now if i'll save it should restrict me see here validation error you cannot add same course for the student as already the student registered for this course for the same day and in another important thing is there is a ok button and there is a link here so if you click this link it will open the existing record that matches the criteria that means it is showing that this record is already available if you want to edit you can edit but do not create a new record right now if you click on ok it will not save right see it is not saved yet because it is restricting the save operation because same record is already available same register same student registered for this uh, course for the same course start date so this this can be achieved in you know uh, different ways like you know uh, duplicate detection rules you can implement uh, alternate case also but such kind of scenario to write code also arises in different scenarios if you manage if you connect multiple entities in script this is same entity that's fine but if you want to connect multiple entities to do some fetch and do some conditions then uh, you have to write the code so why how i have done this let us understand this this is done through asynchronous javascript options i have created two web resources Okay, I have already uploaded this in my gist, GIT hub gist. This is the first JS, which is called as asynchronous result prevent JS. What this function is doing? This function, I have created a function which will validate the condition here. If you go down, here I am reading the course details of the same form, student details, course start date, and I am formatting the course start date here and i have written a fetch xml here you see this fetch xml is retrieving the student registered courses with the same course that i am selecting uh, selecting newly and the same student with same course start date right here you will see the first condition is dead right so if so this fetch xml will retrieve while you are trying to create a new registered course student student registered courses 
this page xml will try to retrieve is there any student registered courses already available in the system which matching the same student same date and same uh, course if yes then i am so how it is retrieved i am using xrm web api retrieve multiple records if you don't know uh, if you don't know about this function go microsoft learn site and um, read it about how it is created or how it is used now this is a asynchronous method this actually retrieves multiple uh, records type by checking the page xml by taking the page xml and returns data so in the success method of this retrieve multiple record we are checking one thing i need the record url so i have i have mentioned here record url there is another method i have create, uh, created get entity record url so i want the existing record url so if you go down i have created another function here this get entity record url formats the entity link of the record and i am assigning the entity name and entity id to this url so that it will return a url of the existing uh, record right now here you will see i have taken a flag here is validation needed by default it is true right but if it is if the retrieve multiple record returns or if the length of the result is not zero that means there is rec there are record exist there are some records exist matching the same student and date and course that's why you are checking here if the save mode is not auto save entity name entity id and record url i am formatting and here i have created a dialog parameter because i want to show a pop up right and this is the html web resource i have created i will show you that html web resource after this we are you know showing this html web resource as a pop up center dialog and this is the navigation properties and the title of this pop up and here we are using the navigate to uh, to display the record right so navigate navigation options we have passed here so that it will display the web resource as a dialog and the next thing is here you will see one thing if uh, here we are yeah i just want to tell you about this thing yes before the async operation we have to stop the prevent uh, stop the save method execution get event arguments dot prevent default this will prevent the uh, save operation before starting the asynchronous operation this is important and if the validation does not pass then we need to call the save method if you go down you will see here here we are checking if it is passed if the validation is passed then form context data dot entity save so we are manually we are on demand calling the same method right then we are uh, so here so before so the trick is whenever you are implementing async operation you need to call the uh, prevent default operation so that it will, it will not save then by checking the uh, asynchronous result here you need to call the same method okay that is the trick now what is the um, what is the html web resource let me go here to show you so the so this javascript calls the html web resource and pass this record entity right this is the entity entity record which is passed as a data parameter now if you open the html web resource here what i have done i have taken the reference of client global context or js and some bootstrap links right and here i have taken two javascripts on page load i have taken url parameters and calling a method get url parameter i am using query string variable location source substring which will give you the query string parameter and we are splitting by equal to and taking the second parameter second array value and decoding twice this parameter value so that it will give the actual record url 
and in the in the mail in the uh, HTML body I have taken a error message division I have taken error message as ID and using inner HTML I am assigning the message you cannot add same course for the student and at last using a anchor tag I am using the I am calling the URL parameter that needs to be loaded when someone click this record link anchor point so take this uh, take this code both code and try it in your machine in your business process I'm sure you can do it right so this is how it works it, it will also work so uh, this function this JavaScript function is called on the save of quick create form and main form because my requirement is whenever you create a new record using this active using this student registered courses main form if you click new it is opening the main form right here it needs to validate plus if you go to any student let's say i will go to the student and here i can go to the related student registered courses and i can click on add new uh, student registration so this is the quick create form of student registered courses if i will also select the same thing here it should alert me right if i'll click on save and close it will throw error right so something is happened i think i have selected some wrong oh 623 okay let me open and create new one and choose the date is 623 and course choose dynamics and name let's say test now see as because this is the same date and same course for the same student that's why it is alerting the message and if you click the record link it will open the existing record so this is uh, some type of validations that you can use in your dynamics 365 or model driven apps uh, for asynchronous validation asynchronous method validations okay i uh, hope it will help you in your project if you want to download you can go here and download both and use in your forms in your solution thank you guys bye